Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Portal 2. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder, you're an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others. Alright, let's jump in and see what's going on, shall we? <clears throat> Okie doke. So, we are in the absolute depths of of Aperture Science. Well, Aperture Labs. This place is just mind-boggling. Like, how do you build something this that tunnels this far down? Big. I suppose I just jump off and go along here. I'm guessing. Keep out. Do not enter. Do not enter. Clearly, this is where we need to go, right? Like, obviously. It's telling me to zoom towards something. Oh, right there. Oops. Yeah, all that, like, keep out stuff, that's just suggestions. Keep out, keep out. I wonder if I'm supposed to enter through here. Seems safe enough. I mean, yeah, some, some of the catwalks are a little awkwardly placed. Same thing with the I beams, but overall, place seems. Reasonably safe. Ooh. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's 
seems completely and totally safe and legit. Had a little stool and a chair sitting here. It's nice of them. Regular little push door. Caution, do not lean on railing. Danger. Water. Okay. Lots of shuddering in this place. Stuff kind of falling apart. That's not great, but. Ooh. That's a big wall. I hope it doesn't fall. It should be, I guess. Uh, what does this take me up here to? A whole lot of nothing. Somehow I don't feel like doing this is a good idea. That looks like something that you can jump through. But I see a lift door over there. I feel like I'm supposed to go through that instead. So let's... Sh There's got to be a way to get up there, right? Like, can I jump through this? Maybe? Mm, not quite. See? It's not hard. Ah, okay. So the lift is out of service. So I do have to go over there. Okay. Well, that means that I was right originally. Fair enough. we do that. Come over here. I give you that number there. And we do that. Cool. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. 
Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> nice, I like it. I like this Gabe Johnson guy. National Potato Board Award for the Promotion of Potato Science. Best New Science Company. Spirit of Idaho. National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science, 1955. Very nice. Cave Johnson, Shower Curtain Salesman of 1943, Aperture Fixtures. Fancy. Top 100 Applied Science Companies, 1949. Wow. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year, Runner-Up, 1954. Uh, oh, and they got it in 1952 as well. Interesting. Local Entrepreneur Buys a Salt Mine. Cave Johnson to bring science and industry to Upper Michigan. Oh, that tells us where we are, finally. Okay, so we're in Michigan. The Earth, the future is here and it's under the Earth's crust, says Science Maverick. Of course, you can't read anything else, but... The Up Pioneer Press. Interesting. 1944. Okay, okay. So we're in Michigan. And that's how he built something so deep. He bought an old salt mine. So it was already dug out this like this. All he had to do was just build at the bottom of it. Hopefully we don't find ourselves going up against an army of mantis men. But I feel like they would have already died off by now. Like, does anybody know the longevity of the average mantis men? I feel like I have to get over there. So it's the only door that I see that looks like it opens. Those all look like they're locked. And he did say something about follow the blue lines. I see blue lines going over there. So... Hmm. But how am I going to get enough speed? So I assume I have to launch myself out of that to land over there. There was an opening underneath the elevator. That's how. Okay. I think. <laughs> well, it's a very good thing that this old steel is holding up. Otherwise, that would have sucked. Know your allergens. Pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. Thing I learned today. Antimatter is, a, is an allergen. Didn't know it was possible to be allergic to antimatter, but all right. Uh, hazardous materials don't touch anything unfamiliar. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. I mean, overall, that's some solid advice. Gel pressure control, pump station alpha. OK. 
Okay, apparently I just turned on the pumps for something. What's down here? Anything? So nothing up here. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, I can do that. And then do that. Uh, and then do that. Come back down. Okay. What did that do for me? They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Okay. Oh, so that's the emancipation grid thing. Must be an earlier version of it. Woo! Bright All lights. Right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. That sounds terrible, but okay. You are here. Wow, that's... That's a lot of test chambers to go through. How many is that? Hang on. Assuming this is somewhat accurate. Three, six, nine... 12, 15, I assume that'll be three of them there, so 18. Okay, so each one of these has nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 54 test chambers? Of course, that also might not be accurate, so. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device. If you have not received one, please find Test Associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Okay. Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a diet dietetic pudding substitute. It's true. The gel is sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation and causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Oh. Oh, that's just... That's horrible. In, like, every way possible. Ooh. So it's a springboard. Okay, that's kind of cool. should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. 
That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> Alright, I kind of like Cave. Not gonna lie. Couple of typewriters, gotcha. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Uh, what? Okay, well, the bright side is I didn't sit down in the lobby. So, I've got that much going for me at least. Okay, so Cave is a fun guy, but it doesn't sound like he's big on, like, things like consent. So I can literally wall jump. Okay. That's what I was worried about. You gotta really be pushing yourself forward to get oh, as, in case you got conserve as much momentum as you can. Here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Good to know. Would have been more useful to know that like 10 minutes ago, but sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I feel like Cave doesn't quite grasp the concept of informed consent when it comes to science. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. 
I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Well, okay then. supposed to do from up here Again, didn't drink any coffee, so I should be okay. But thank you for the uh, the heads up and warning there. Appreciate it. I'm starting to see where GLaDOS got some of her interest in science from. Not really a good thing. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But what? if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Tiny microchip the size of a postcard. Not a postage stamp, a postcard. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say it, I'm enjoying the humor of Cave Johnson more than I did 
the humor of GLaDOS. Like, GLaDOS is funny, but she was getting kind of savage there, whereas this is just, like, off the wall randomness, but it's funny at the same time. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of this, because this, so far, is just gold. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to see more, then make sure you're subscribed. That way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I will catch you in the next one.